we're at our favorite Chick-fil-A location in Kenner and we're gonna show you what we're ordering. To get a Cobb salad with cold grilled chicken, okay. no corn, avocado lime ranch dressing, and a large unsweet tea. I'm gonna share with y'all all the tricks that we do while we're out and about on the road. So we're at Chick-fil-A, I ordered my salad and a large unsweet tea, and guess what I keep in the car? I keep, I'm gonna make myself a sugar-free Arnold Palmer. I keep these Mio lemonade drops. They are sweetened with sucralose, but you girls okay with that. You just take that and put it into your um, unsweet tea, like a good splash of it. And you have a sugar-free Arnold Palmer. The Keto Kid got a um, Coke Zero. Y'all ready? It's as simple as this. It's super easy to modify your order at some Chick-fil-A locations. Not all of them will allow you to do this, but I order the Cobb salad, no corn, with the cold grilled chicken, just because that's my preference. The Keto Kid does a slightly different version. She gets the nuggets just like it comes on the salad and no corn. So, great keto options on the go. We're going into Rouse's. This is our first stop. And I just want y'all to see the beautiful charger in the background. Best car ever. And we are trying out this fresh ground natural peanut butter. It's $3.49, which seems like a great deal. And we've never done it before. So we might end up spending $20 on peanut butter, but we'll see. We'll weigh it after the fact. Let's see how much this is gonna cost us. Okay, so we just waited. It's not quite a pound. So less than $3.49 for this natural ground peanut butter. Seems like a pretty good deal. We are stocking up on the avocados. They are a dollar each. You see that? A dollar for an avocado. So we're definitely grabbing a bunch while we're here and stocking up because in our area, avocados can get pretty pricey. So it's a super good deal. Another awesome thing to have on hand is bell peppers. I use these in salads and my pizza in a bowl. This week we're having stuffed bell peppers, so they're four for two dollars, which is also a good deal because they're normally not this cheap in our area. So that's a good find. Lily's is my jam. I love me some Lily's chocolate chips, chocolate bars. I use these all the time, and they're six ninety nine at Rouse's. I know if you're not local, you don't have a Rouse's, but this is a great item, and you can use it as just a snack if you want, like a little trail mix. Toss some of these in with some nuts. Good to go. Y'all know I recommend Pure nine times out of ten. This is the one product that I will never, ever, ever, ever recommend to you. The Pure Baking Blend, and here's why. The first ingredient is maltodextrin. And maltodextrin is a horrible, unnecessary item. So never buy this, but here are some good sweetener options. We have Lakanto, totally good in the classic and if you need a brown sugar substitute this and although swerve is a good option i hate swerve swerve is a no for me and they're a new orleans brand and i hate to say that but i don't like swerve i would prefer this or the granular pure we see a lot of products that are marketed as cauliflower and things like that and you would think oh this is a great item again not a great item because for one fourth of the pizza, it's 14 net carbs. And you'll see in here, it has rice flour, cornmeal, cornstarch, canola oil. All of these items are horrible, and this is not good for them. If you can't make your own ice cream, Revel is a good option. Super clean ingredients. Coffee chip is bomb. They're good, but they're pricey. If you're keto, you know pork belly is like a necessity. $2.99 here and I cooked some the other day. It was delicious. I made my own crackling in the air fryer. We are doing a carnivore challenge this coming week. A group of our Instagram keto community and I have an awesome, awesome recipe that I'm going to share with y'all doing a whole air fryer, a whole chicken in the air fryer. They're only 67 cents a pound so I think I'm going to stock up on these. Limited. 
might be up for discussion, but it's okay as far as we're concerned is sandwich meat for the kids. They like to have, you know, a sandwich option to do on a low carb tortilla or something like that. If you're super strict keto, it might not be an option for you, but as far as I'm concerned and our family is concerned, we're good on it. A cheap way to get in some protein is by eating eggs. You can make egg salad, you can just eat them boiled or fried or whatever. So, I'm not a snob when it comes to eggs. They don't have to be cage-free, organic, all that other stuff. So um, you can be on a budget and you can have all the protein you want. Yay! A good option if you're missing out on yogurt while you're doing keto is this brand. It's Too Good Yogurt. There are two net carbs, I believe. You know, this one has three. This one has two grams of sugar in it. Actually, it's three carbs for each one, but there's two grams of sugar. But if you're missing out on these, you could buy this, eat it as a little yogurt snack. And I'm going to put a link down in the comments for an awesome, awesome keto-friendly granola that you could top this with, and that craving would be filled. Found a new Coke Zero flavor. going to talk about another item that could be slightly tricky. This is a personal choice item. I did eat Russell Stover sugar-free candy in the beginning of my keto journey, but I have no longer um, decided to eat it. It says right here it's sweetened with stevia extract, but in fact, when you look on the back, one of the first ingredients is maltitol, and the thing with maltitol, it is totally a personal choice item, but it could spike your glucose and it could cause some significant digestive issues, which is why I stopped eating it. One thing that we enjoy putting in our unsweet tea to make, like I said earlier, a sugar-free Arnold Palmer are these Mio Drops. But another option if you want to have flavored water with zero carbs and um, no sugar are these crystal light uh, little things you can make you can even make mixed drinks with these and you would have a carb free drink are y'all realizing that i am about dirty keto sometimes i know this is processed cheese but guess what i'm okay with it it's one net carb per slice and it's so delicious on cheeseburgers and if you want to make a grilled cheese sandwich with the low carb bread it's all about sustainability for me and this is an item that is personal choice for me that I will always consume. We're gonna have just a very quick rundown of everything that I bought. I spent $140 and I got basically everything that was on my list. So I got some cauliflower, two whole chickens, some sandwich meat, both ham and turkey for the kids. We're gonna try out these two good yogurts for the first time um, we got some ground beef a big pack of pork chops lemon juice onion mushrooms we got two of the bags of the Sola granola Ava the keto kid she loves these and then these two items my son is not keto and he eats those in the morning for breakfast and I also got him some grapes got two bags of beef jerky some of these dill pickles like for on the go i can't wait to try these it was a dollar for this big bag got some sliced cheese some of the drink mixes some sola bread lilies water heavy whipping cream i am going to try to up my water intake this week so i bought this with the intention of reusing it i know that's probably terrible but i want to try to eat, like take a water you know like drink a gallon of water every day this is a gallon so i don't know i'm just gonna try it eggs avocados asparagus some bell peppers and some of that peanut butter it ended only ended up only costing a dollar 61 for this fresh ground peanut butter this may be a new staple item for us around here so there you have it that's everything that we got at the grocery this week and then some because i don't think we'll eat all of that meat this week but there you go one thing that i do to keep myself on track regardless of your of whether or not you're living a keto lifestyle or not is I make a list when I go to the grocery. 
every week I make a list of things that we need because number one, this is going to keep me on track at the grocery. I'm not just gonna be wandering around in there trying to think about what we're gonna have for dinner for the upcoming week. I know definitely what we're gonna have. At the bottom corner of this list, okay, I have a meal plan for dinner only for Friday through Thursday of the next like Friday night, Saturday night, Sunday night, Monday night, Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night. And what I do is I tear those little corners off and I will put them on the side of my refrigerator. That way, when I get up in the morning, I know what we're having for dinner that night because the refrigerator is right beside the coffee pot and I'm going to have coffee every morning at that coffee pot if I need to take food out to thaw, if I need to put something in the crock pot for the day, whatever the case may be. And then, you know how you get in a rut from cooking the same thing every night, every week, like it just becomes monotonous? I have these to refer back to. I'll keep them for, you know, a couple of months. And then if I feel like, okay, I haven't really had anything inspiring or I'm tired of cooking the same thing over and over again, I'll go back and then I'll look through this. And oftentimes I'll see something in here that I'm like, ooh, I forgot I made that. I'm gonna make that again. And I'll add it to the upcoming week's meal plan. This is just one thing that has helped simplify my life because at the beginning of the day, I know what we're having to eat for dinner. And if it's a busy day, I know I won't have to be scrambling at the last minute to try to prepare something for my family and in turn possibly having to eat out or something like that. So that's my little money saving and time saving tip for you.